It was the beginning of last summer. I had just finished building my creative office, a six month endeavor that was physically and mentally draining. I was looking for an escape to unwind and reset. I figured I'd stay at a cabin I had been to in the winter of 2018. It was right on the river and I was dying to see what it looked like during the summer. So I loaded up my old van and asked my dog Hudson if he wanted to join me. officially took off, I got us a sandwich to split and stopped at a fishing hole. Oh! <laughs> no way! Wow! Wow! First cast! <laughs> Took, it, took the fly right off. Just a little strike, but it's the first one of the season. Wow, oh jeez. He must have gotten hooked. He must still have it in it. He just jumped right out of the water, about a foot. A nice little, probably a foot long trout. Nice little rainbow. Holy smokes. <laughs> I gotta get another fly on. I hadn't driven the van much that year and I was so excited to get to the cabin that I completely forgot my inspection sticker wasn't up to date. I happened to get pulled over in a small town where I never see cops, but the officer was cool and allowed me to tow the van home and didn't give me a ticket. It was a bummer, but that's life. Gotta roll with the punches. So I had to take my daily driver instead, and my mom gave me a ride back to town. Dog food, <laughs> Huddy didn't seem to mind either way.
So after some refreshing sleep, we woke up to our new riverside paradise. Hudson? <laughs> what are you doing? It was wet and rainy when we first woke, but before long, the sun started breaking through. spent the day scouting the cabin grounds and the local area. was high and hot, I soaked up some rays and did a little river rock workout with some barefoot hill sprints. too high to fish, but I simply couldn't resist. Want a green bean? No? They're good. We were there for a few days total, and I filmed a bunch because it's one of my favorite things to do, but also spent plenty of time reflecting and relaxing. I love these little trips with Hudson. He's a great adventure companion. He takes pride in protecting our base camp and he loves running around and exploring on his own. And so we wandered around in the afternoon sun, both happy and content.
There's nothing quite like a cabin porch, especially with the white noise of a river below. Nothing else seems to matter when you're out there. And having a few porch nights with Hudson was exactly what I needed to recenter. When life gets stressful and hectic, it's the simple things that hold us down. A comfy chair, a good book, a good companion. It's important to dedicate time to take care of yourself and your mind, because it's hard to help the world around you if you're not grounded yourself. It's been a while since we've spoken face to face, maybe even years. I'm not usually in front of the camera, but I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you. My life has really changed in the past six months and it's because of you guys. Through Patreon and merchandise and just general support, you guys have really done a lot for me. You're allowing me to tell these stories full time. I recently looked at my YouTube analytics and it was something like 77% of people that watch the videos aren't subscribed. If you're not subscribed, and you enjoy these videos, if you could do that now, it would be a huge help. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up to all of that helps. Helps get the video seen more and just grow the community. Starting the Patreon and opening up my merchandise store has allowed me to put all my time and energy into Trout and Coffee. I don't have to do client work anymore, really. I mean, I do. Well, the honest truth is that I really don't make any money right now. Even with everything going on, I'm barely covering my expenses, but the reason that I'm able to do that is because of you. Because you watch the videos, because you, because you buy merchandise, because you support on Patreon. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this full time. I will always make these videos. Even if I didn't have an audience or if I couldn't make a living doing it, I would always do it in the background because this is my passion. This is my heart and soul. I love telling the little stories of my life more than anything. There's nothing that makes me happier. But having a community around it makes it really special. And in fact, what we have here on our little corner of the internet is one of a kind. You know, we're not big. The rest of the world doesn't really know about us and it's kind of nice that way. It's only a matter of time until they find us, but I'm enjoying it the way it is for now. So speaking of merch, I wanted to give you a little update because I'm gonna be redesigning the entire store. This is the last week you'll be able to get any of the stuff that's in there right now, and this is the last weekend you can get it at 10% off. Since it's 4th of July weekend, you might have already seen it on Instagram, but I'm running a 10% off sale. The code is 4th, and use it at checkout to get anything in the store 10% off, your entire order. I know the world is crazy right now and times are tough, and if you want to sign up for Patreon but you can't, the merchandise is the next best thing. And that goes beyond just the monetary support that comes from purchasing stuff, but wearing it around and interacting with friends and spreading the message by word of mouth. Wearing a piece of trout merchandise is a conversation starter. And it's about more than just a YouTube channel. It's about an attitude on life. Um, slowing down, appreciating the little things, finding magic in the mundane, knowing that everything happens in good time, trusting the process. All this merchandise, I made every design from scratch, and these are all the first edition Trout & Coffee designs. They will never be made the same again. And that's how merch is gonna be from here on out. It's gonna be in waves. I love that because it makes every item more special. I mean, there's gonna be people out there that literally have the only copy of certain items. I'm so excited to show you what I've been designing for the new summer merch. It's gonna be incredible. So just for the memory's sake, just to be a part of the first wave ever before things get bigger. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen from here on out. I just wanted to show you a few of the things that I never really got to show um, before they're gone forever. One of the things I never got to show you guys, and I don't know if I'm gonna leave this in the store or not, I might, the brown trout adventure towel. Mine's super dirty, because I use it every day. I pretty much just leave it into my truck. Kinda smells like gasoline. 
That thing always smells like gasoline. It's part of the fun. It's kind of like a chamois, and it's super light. It dries really quick, and it's just so useful to keep around. Throw it in a backpack, leave it in your car, whatever. Such a great item. The hats, I think I'm gonna be doing new hats, though I feel like I have to always have a Mayfly hat, but either way, these are just great. Such timeless, simple. I got the Snapback and the Trucker one, and there's also a Dad one, which is the more relaxed fit. The original Berkshire's crew neck. This is not gonna be available anymore, and I love this. Just a super simple, cozy crew neck, Mayfly on the back, Berkshire's on the front, and it's gonna be gone forever. If you're signed up for Patreon, you've already seen this whole pitch because I did a different version on the end of the video that I just posted on Patreon. It's a full original story, but it's only available on Patreon. And I did this full pitch on that, so I'm sorry <laughs> if you're watching this all again, but the Eco shirt, there's gonna be all different versions of it with different logos and designs, but this is the Brown Trout Eco shirt, and it is my favorite t-shirt, and I'm not just saying that. It is such a thick, hearty t-shirt that I know is gonna last for life. And the designs, I mean like the trout design is so incredibly sharp on both the towel and this t-shirt. It looks so good. And this will no longer be available. This is such a classic item. The original plain trout eco hoodie, mayfly in the back, trout on the front. There's little olive stitching on the, on the strings here. And then I cut mine to kind of personalize it. I got a hole in it. I went on so many adventures this spring and it's so cozy. This is another for life item. This is something I'll always have. It's the one of the originals. I'm not making these anymore. If you want one of these, get it before it's gone. The tapestries, this is a big one. I think this is the biggest one, but there's a couple different sizes. I know there's a smaller one. These photos won't be available any longer. I'm doing all new tapestries. I would have loved to have had something like this in my dorm room back in the day. And you saw this in the last video, but I just figured I'd show it again. I'm, I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave this in or not. Again, just so sharp. The design looks unbelievable. It's so detailed, the colors are so good. And then in terms of Joyce and coffee, like lately she's just been making me so much stuff. She made me this laptop case, which I just love. This bucket hat, she's been making bucket hats like crazy. I would, oh, they're so sweet and so well made. We did so many prototypes until we landed on the one. I love it. What I've been doing a lot lately is I have a lot of samples of the merchandise from my store, but then I'll also wear it with a Joyce, like a bucket hat with a trout and coffee tank or whatever. I love the combo of the modern merch with the homemade stuff. It's the best combo. So my mom just started her Etsy store. It's, um, I'll put the link here, etsy.com slash shop slash Joyce and coffee. And she's got everything that she currently has for sale will always be up there. So if you ever want a handmade piece of trout and coffee um, merchandise, go there. Speaking of which, speaking of stuff that she's made, the bag that she made for the June giveaway is unbelievable. It's a canvas bag that is meant for camping or for um, dinner in the woods or something. You can put all your cooking supplies in it or whatever. It's a hardy canvas bag and it's super quirky and cool looking and I'm giving it away on Patreon. Every month on Patreon, my mom and I give away one handmade good that she made and I usually give away a print or something that I have as well. So there's usually a couple winners every month and it's just really fun. The community on Patreon is amazing. You guys are so incredible. And also there's a ton of new content up on Patreon. I just put a, a, a full, never before seen original story up there. There's all new wallpapers for your phone and your desktop. All the film photos are there and the Patreon just brings the stories to life even more. I don't even know if I'm doing this right or if I'm saying everything I need to say, but at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm so incredibly grateful to be able to do this, to be able to tell these stories full time. And I can't even express my gratitude towards you guys. I mean, these are really personal stories. This is basically my journal that I choose to share with the world and I never knew that it would resonate with other people so much. There's days where, you know, I feel frustrated and down and I see some of your comments and it reminds me why I do this. You guys inspire me. I mean, some of the things you write are so beautiful and incredible and it's just really humbling. It's pretty wild to be standing here at the place where I grew up. This is the place that shaped my stories, that shaped my taste for everything. And to be standing here and talking to you guys is, is pretty surreal at this point. And I mean, it's not much what I have and 
I don't want much. I don't want to be rich. I don't want to be like an LA YouTuber and have fancy cars and a big mansion and all that. I, I really have everything that I want. I just want to be able to live and not worry about my bills. I want to be able to focus on my stories, on my art. You guys are making that possible. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for us. Yeah.